Peace, you're now rocking with Beef and Be That Self. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Today I have a new video demonstration for you all, which is what I call alkaline ramen. You know, we all used to love the ramen noodles in the packets, but those noodles aren't the best for your health. Neither is the little broth packets that come in a package. So here's a quick video demonstration on how to prepare your own ramen, all plant-based. Before we dive into the video, I wanted to share with you this amazing cast iron wok I found on Amazon. This is not a sponsor, I just felt it was an affordable price for the quality offered. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Ingredients we'll need, zucchini, preferably two, oyster mushrooms, sweet bell pepper one fourth, shallot, ginger, butternut squash, kale, scallion, fennel ball, also date syrup, and homemade vegetable broth. You want to spiralize your zucchini and set them to the side in a bowl. Finally, grate your butternut squash to about one fourth cup worth. Cut your fennel ball up to however you would like it. I'm going with horizontal cuts. I saved the stalks to make a juice later. Medium dice cuts on your bell pepper. Finally dice your shallot. Finally grate your ginger. Heat up your cast iron to a medium high heat. Add one tablespoon of toasted sesame seed oil. Toss in our oyster mushrooms. Let them cook for about three to four minutes. Then, once they get a brown coating, remove them from the wok. In replace of your mushrooms, you're gonna add your scallion, your butternut squash, and your peppers. Saute your vegetables, allow them to get tender and soak up the flavor from the mushrooms. Toss in your kale. Add a dab of oil if necessary. This is the perfect time to test taste. You need some acidity to it. A little spice. Natural sea salt. What I did with my fennel was I roasted it for about 10 to 12 minutes at 400 degrees in the oven. Uh, this is just an extra garment to the dish. It's not really necessary, just something that I wanted to add. So now it's time to see. Hey, babe. It good. Yeah. So now it's time to see if it gets the Be Thyself stamp of approval. If I could only use these tongs, right? It smells good, by the way. fire so i made sure to keep the zucchini noodles nice and long to give it that ramen feel and my favorite part about ramen when i used to eat ramen noodles 
was the broth and the broth is fire here so definitely gets to be that self stamp of approval you remember the little packets that come with the ramen noodles the dry vegetables well since we made everything fresh like the mushrooms the kale the onions it tastes so good ever since i got in the mix of fasting i just needed something like a light meal so this is perfect the zucchini noodles have a nice firmness to it they're not too firm but it gives it a nice noodle effect because we didn't cook it on a stove super long i think the fennel is a nice add as well i only use the bulb of the fennel because fennel can be very overwhelming so if you just use the bulb of the fennel you still get the taste of fennel but it's not overpowering i'll save the fennel stalks for when i'm juicing so that's all we have for today i hope you enjoyed the video demonstration on how to make your own ramen pretty simple i think what is the most annoying part about this meal is the meal prep you need uh you know your uh zucchini tool to make zucchini noodles it's just having everything assorted it could get real messy in the kitchen but if your meal prep is on point that's nothing to worry about if your kid likes noodles this will be a very fun meal for them however if they're not into green uh you know the zucchini noodles can be pretty intimidating you might want to peel off the zucchini noodles and then make the zoodles but uh, I just like the benefits, the all-around benefits of zucchini. So I left the skin on intact uh, because there's some great minerals in the skin. I hope y'all enjoyed the video demonstration. Please hit the like if you enjoyed the video. If you did not, feel free to hit the unlike. It is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified when we drop content on the channel every Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. And until next time, Tutal Nana.